Since the downfall of Michael Fallon, the British military has a new boss, Defence Secretary Gavin Williamson. Here's three bits of advice for you, Gav. The British press are going to tell you that Gavin Williamson's job is to go to government and lobby for more money for defence. But the problem isn't a lack of money in defence. The problem is massive, expensive vanity projects. Britain is spending £6.5 billion on two aircraft carriers it doesn't need. It's spending £2.5 billion on dodgy F-35 jets from America. It could be spending as much as £205 billion on Trident missile replacements, as well as spending huge amounts of money on a base in Bahrain. These massively expensive projects are about pursuing a defunct policy, which is at once about nostalgia for empire and keeping up with the Americans. What do these projects have in common? They're not about defence. They're about the offensive capability to fight wars in far off places. Gav, you're joining a cabinet which says it's committed to taking back control for Britain. But you need to tell your Brexit mates when you get there that we really need to talk about the special relationship with the US. For example, how many EU bases are there in the UK? None. How many American military bases are there in the UK? Six. We are a military colony. Who controls the UK's nuclear arsenal? Is it the EU? No, it's the Americans. If they stop supporting it, it would fall apart within months. How many wars has the EU dragged us into in the last 15 years? Zero. The US has dragged us into war after war after war. We need to de-link our foreign policy from America's. Last one, Gav, and don't melt. You need to unionise the military. I'm not talking about a licence to mutiny. What I am saying is that Britain's soldiers, sailors and airmen have earned the right to form a union as a basic self-defence mechanism against uncaring generals and indifferent politicians.